In this video, we will cover the use of trading bots. Open the trading tab of the market maker interface. A trading bot is an instance of a trading algorithm. The trading bot is grouped into several different sections. Let's look at a simple trading bot. On the screen, I have a list of trading bots that are currently configured for this environment. Let's look at the first example. In the first trading bot, you see there's a numerical value associated with this particular trading bot, and you can see some details displayed. If we look at the instrument section and click on the right arrow, you'll see the details are expanded. In the instrument section, you can define the instrument and exchange that you want to subscribe to. You can specify multiple instruments and exchanges by adding a comma after each entry. For example, as you can see, I have LTC BTC as my instrument and the exchange is currently Coinbase. If I were to add a second entry, I could simply just place a comma and type Kraken. The pricing information for the instrument can be made up of a combination of the underlying and FX leg. We'll take a look at this in more detail in a later section. Once you're happy with the settings, simply press the Save button to commit the changes. Let's take a look at the next section. In the Pricer section, these details are used to determine the prices of the trading bot. Click on the arrow key on the right to view all the parameters. You can specify the buy quote size and sell quote size, in this case 10. The buy and sell margin amounts. The minimum spread or the minimum distance between the buy and the sell. the minimum price change in basis points. The source aggregation has several different options. If you double click on the entry field, you will receive a list of the options. Best aggregated. The base price for sell quotes is calculated as the average price of buying a given size via the consolidated limit order book. For best single, the base price is calculated for each exchange in the list. The exchange with the best execution price will be used. Worst single. The base price is calculated for each exchange in the list. The exchange with the worst execution price will be used. BBO. The base price for sell quotes is the lowest across all exchanges and vice versa for the buy side. Midpoint is simply just the midpoint of the best bid and best ask. Replication. This allows you to replicate the liquidity profile from source exchanges. We'll review an example of this in more detail in a later session. You have the FX aggregation column. Uh, if the FX leg was specified in the instrument section, you can define how the FX aggregation will be defined. Again, we'll look at this in a later example. Once you're happy with the changes, press save to commit. All right, and we can go ahead and turn on the pricer by pressing start. Uh, you will see that in the quote book section below, it will be populated with prices based on the definition we just outlined. In the hedger section, you can enable auto hedging. Click again on the right arrow to see all the details. You can specify the max position and the normal size. If your position exceeds the max position amount, the hedger will reduce the positions back to the normal size value. In our example here, you will see that our max position is set to 1 and will return to a 0 position if the max position is breached. As you can see, there is a space between the two parameters uh, indicating the max position and the normal size. 
You can specify the hedging instrument. If the field is blank, the instrument field will be used. The hedging strategy is currently set to limit, and this is the only option at the moment. And this may change in a later release. The execution price determines how the child orders will be placed. Again, there are several options here. If we double click, lean means it will place the child orders at the best market price. Passive means child orders will be placed one tick from the best market price. Cross market means the child orders will be placed with an aggressive offset to the lean price at the child order sent time. The venues list determines where the child orders will be placed. Again, you can specify multiple exchanges by placing a comma after each entry. The max order size column means that the hedger will not place orders with size exceeding this value. If the value exceeds the max order size, it will be divided into smaller orders of max order size. The recent time means the hedger will place a new order or place an existing order after this interval. The max offset controls the worst limit price for the hedger. Lean price of the child plus or minus the max offset value. Again, once you're happy with these settings, go ahead, press the save button to commit the changes. Now, if we go back to our hedger, uh, we can start the hedger by pressing the start button. And you will see down below here in the hedger section that our hedger book will now be populated with quotes based on that bot definition. The, in the risk section, you can specify the tolerance exposure of each trading bot. Again, we'll click here on the right arrow to expand all of the parameters. You can specify the max long and short exposure, which includes the current position plus any open orders. Scroll over a bit here to the right. The minimum buy sell quote active time represents a time in milliseconds to keep the quoting order on before it is canceled or replaced. The max hedger position size represents the maximum size of the hedge. The max quarter size represents the maximum size of the existing price quote. For the maximum day loss, if this limit is breached, the bot will cancel all quoting orders and the trading bot will be stopped. Again, if you're happy with all these settings, go ahead and press the save button and those changes will be committed. There are two additional sections here. We have the statistics section, which basically displays a bunch of trading statistics, including information about the current position size, uh, open buy sell quantity amounts, same for the hedger uh, quantity uh, sold and bought amounts as well. There's also information about the PL and account PL for each of the trading bots. Finally, there's a section on real time statistics which displays some indicator values calculated in real time. Details of all the features that are displayed here are documented in the CryptoCortex Market Maker User Guide.